I got on Amazon, and you can head on over to cat5.tv slash solder kit, and it arrived yes. already, so really? ob obviously available on Prime, and I picked one of these up. Let's see. And it is way microscopic compared to what I was expecting. I was expecting from the picture that this was going to be like a full-size toolbox. Right. That's little. <laughs> it's like a, a mini, like a mini toolbox. Should we get into giant. this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get this out of the way so that I can show you folks this. So this was the next step from this. This cost me $30. Now I'll tell you, C120 AD, you mentioned like the $16 wellers and things like that. I got on Amazon, I started looking around, and the cheapest that we could get here in Canada was $22 Canadian, and it was not brand name, and it was just a, a cheap soldering iron. Right. Um, so why I went with this kit, it's only $8 more. It came with the box. It came with extra tips, and it came with some extra essentials. So let's get in here. Okay. And this is going to also take us back to Iger Wold's comment about having um, solder desoldering tools. Right. Okay? okay. Let's get in here. So into the box. Boom. First and foremost, a solder sucker. Oh. There you go. Is that for excess solder? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> it also pinches your face. Is that for excess? Like <laughs> this is for removing solder um, so you can heat up the solder and then suck it oh, off okay, gotcha. so that you can remove chips and things and reuse. Right. That is or, cool. Or fix when you mess things up. So Never. that, if, if you ask me, that's worth probably the extra $8 anyways. Oh, exactly. It came with a whole bunch of solder. Now, what is this? Lead-free solder wire. Perfect. This is 2.0 flux, um, 20, ga uh, 20 gauge. No, eight, 0 0.8 millimeter versus my 0 0.6 that I have here. Right. So similar to There's what I have, but it's got a lot. Yeah. 20 grams, I guess that is. Okay, so it's got this itty bitty tiny toolbox. Yeah. How cute is that? All right, it's got a box within there. What do we have? And remember, this was only $30, so... Okay, what do you expect for $30? It's got a little stand that is basically just a cheap little tray right. with a couple of nuts that, hey, you, you can hold what? your soldering iron there. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's got a sponge that you can wet to clean it. So I didn't have one of these. Now I do. So that's cool. But it's not as nice of a holder as my helping hands. No. So I'll probably just end up using my helping hands anyways. But if you don't already have helping hands... That's something, anyways. Then, exactly. It's in the box, kind of thing. Okay, what else have we got? We've got a couple of um, a couple of tweezers. Right. These are um, anti-static, and I like that. The tweezers that I have have become magnetic, so I needed new oh, ones. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's a pain because I'm working with little itty bitty resistors, and they're magnetized to the yeah. tongs, which yeah, makes it really, that. really hard. Then we've got the soldering iron, obviously, but a couple of extra things that came in the kit. Um, it's got desoldering wire. That's cool. Nice. So desoldering wire. Desoldering wire. I can put this on all those bad joints that I made. Right. And I can remove. I can touch this to it and heat it up, and it will suck in the solder, absorb it, and then I take it away, and the solder is off of the joint. No. Yeah. So I That's need this good. when I correct the soldering joints yes. that I've created. Okay. Then I've got my soldering tool. Here you go. Now, what is what really excited me about this, and Dave Fear pointed it out on the one for $70. Let's actually bring this up through the magnifier, the, through the microscope, so that you can see what I'm seeing here. It has a temperature gauge. Oh, that's and it goes nice. from 20, uh, to, pardon me, from 200C all the way up to t uh, 450. And it's just a dial. So mm -hmm. for a cheap little thing, that's pretty good. Look at what else we've got. It, it does go up to 60 watts. Cool. So it's a pretty... You know, it's going to heat up pretty quickly, yeah. apparently. Um, should do a pretty good job. Sorry. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, we're going to be checking it out on future demonstrations and seeing how it works. So, But then it also came with one, two, three, four, five oh, tips. extra tips. So we've got some extra tips there that came with this, and each one is a little bit different for different jobs. Right. And I expect that as I grow and learn how each one works, then that's going to be cool. So if I remove this... I can see there's my tip. Oh, well, so you just slide it right off. And then it's got a ceramic core. Oh, okay. So the ceramic core, apparently, I'm learning, is very quick to heat up. Yes. And so that's a good thing. I'm going to gently I have put a hair that back on. I have a hair straightener that's similar. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. So they does are that really, heat up really yes, well? It, yeah, it does. Good. I like that it has the uh, adjustable temperature, mm -hmm. um, and it does have also an inline power switch, which was an added bonus because you normally have to unplug one of these kinds right. of soldering irons. So it's a good start. I think this is a great for little kit. Yeah. Oh, for 30 bucks? Yeah. For 30 bucks, yeah. Um, and it's available in our shop now, cat5.tv slash solder kit. Now, I've been able to get, obviously, it's available here in Canada as you see it here. It's also available in the United States as you see it here. In the UK, they don't have exactly the same kit, but I found one that's very similar, and it's only 14 pounds. So, oh, um, right. so you can check that out. And it even has a couple of extra things in the UK, but I obviously can't test it because it's a little bit different. But it looks like about the same thing, and it is what it is. It's a cheap soldering iron, but it's better than what I have, mm -hmm. and it's going right. to get me started. Exactly. And I like that it came with all this extra stuff that I'm going to need anyways mm. for my projects, um, and just a cheap little case, which... A appeases my need to have organization because otherwise right. everything just sits in a cardboard box. Now, is it a quick cool solder iron as well? Uh, well, I haven't plugged it in yet, okay. but I don't expect so. No? Okay. Uh, no. I, I didn't read anything about it being okay. anything special. That's why you have that cooling, handy little holder. Quick so to heat up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It is quick to heat up. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, but I can put it in my, my helping hands, turn off the power switch, which I guess is going to help anyways, because yeah. being able to turn off the power switch and turn it back on and it's got quick heating, then it should work yeah. pretty well. Mm -hmm. But we will find out on a future episode how much better that works than my, uh, my old battery-powered soldering iron. So you don't want to miss some of the features that we've got coming up. And do check out that kit, cat5.tv slash solder kit. Now, I know it is just a cheap kit. It's going to get you started. It's going to improve our game. It's going to help me to do a little bit better when it comes to soldering. And some of the things that we're learning here on Category 5 Technology TV is really helpful as well. If you've got comments you want to share with us, comment below or head over to our YouTube channel on our website, category5.tv if you're watching on cable TV. Um, there are so many different ways that you can interact with us. We'd love to hear from you and love to find out what uh, what we could do better. 